So you're looking to move to Orlando, Florida. Well, guess what? I'm going to talk about a specific city that is one of the fastest growing areas really around Orlando when it comes to new construction, people moving here, and you got to hear about it. But there are some pros and cons to living here, and we're going to talk about that in this video. I'm going to be going back and forth, back and forth with three pros and three cons when it comes to living in Davenport, Florida. So if you're looking to move to Orlando, you probably have seen this come up, whether you're looking for schools for your kids, new construction opportunities, or just overall places that are pretty decently located near theme parks and things like that around Orlando. Well, that's Davenport in a nutshell. So, you know, we'll get straight into it right now. So, first thing we're going to talk about is the first pro when it comes to living in Davenport. Now, Davenport is one of the, the cities that we chose as a family when we first re relocated or located ourselves in Orlando area, and for good reason. So, Davenport, obviously, the first pro is it's very well located to everything. So, it's it's just decently spaced everything. Now, this is excluding traffic, which we'll get to later in this video, but Orlando, I'm sorry, Orlando, but Davenport and Relo, and <laughs> I can't talk, in general respect to Orlando is not too bad. I mean, even with traffic, you're about mm, an hour to the airport, give or take, so it's really not that bad. Now, maybe for some people that might be super far, and maybe like notice more your style, but Davenport, when it comes to the price and the place of where you're located, it's not too far from things. And even with traffic, I mean, worst case, we're about 45 minutes is like the longest I've ever seen take it to the parks. So that's like worst case scenario. Generally, depending when you're going, if you're not going during peak traffic hours, like it'll probably take us 35 minutes from South Davenport to get to the theme parks, right? And that's obviously the 27s what causes a lot of that time. So depending where you live in Davenport, that could be shorter or it could be longer like us where we live. So understand that Davenport is just really well located. Or even if you like to go to the beach occasionally, guess what? It's not that hard to get out of the four and start heading west towards Tampa. So when it comes to location, Davenport just really ends up beating a lot of the cities. It's not far from the four, especially for the price you're paying so overall i think it's a very well located city that has access to a lot of things all the stores are here you know everything that you're looking to do is really here i mean obviously it has a bj's um you know easy access to the 27 and the four so you really can go to any major locations there's tons of activities to do around davenport um we have a lot of activities we put into obviously we're really big into homeschooling there's tons of groups and family groups and church groups and there's just a lot of stuff going on around davenport because it is expanding so fast so really the distance to go to most things is not that bad now if you love going to sam's club and costco i have seeing that those are just annoying to get to in my opinion so that's one issue depending on what stores you like to go to now generally though in terms of walmart targets things like that it's here relatively close to walmart and haines city isn't too bad to get to so relatively speaking most major stores that you need to go to on a daily basis are going to be here in davenport now obviously there are certain amenities that can be annoying when it comes to difference. And this isn't a con in itself. It's just, you know, obviously we're talking about distance to things. We have found, depending what part of Davenport you live in, it can be, this can be a pro and a con, right? Because we love going to the library as a family. Well, we're either heading to north of Davenport or you're heading all the way south into Haines City for the Polk County Library System. So it's annoying they haven't put anything in between since there's so many people moving to Davenport. But for most amenities, it's not too bad. All right, and now we're going to go to the first con about living in Davenport, and that it's freaking crowded. And you can fill in the word that you think I'm going to say to fill in there, but it's really, really crowded. So the one downfall of Davenport is the fact that when people come to vacation to Disney and stuff like that, there are a lot of communities here that allow short-term rentals. Now, there also are a lot that don't, so understand that. But because there are a lot of, well transient things prepared for vacationers here in Davenport because of its location to the parks, it has become just another place for them to come. So obviously during the week of Thanksgiving this year in 2023, I did not go out anywhere. No way. It was nuts. Now, but the also downfall is, is because of where Davenport is and the 27 is like a lifeblood heading north and south in Davenport, it is insane all the time. Now, it doesn't mean... When I say crowded, it doesn't always mean that the stores you go to are crowded. It's just, in general, during peak, obviously, peak travel seasons, you're going to run into traffic. So understand that it's just going to be an issue that you're going to have to deal with when it comes to living in Davenport. And obviously, that also plays into schools and things like that. So understand, because there are so many people moving here, the crowds are a thing. Now, I haven't really seen that in terms of competitive competitiveness in terms of like buying homes or relocating here but i can tell you for when it comes to schools 
peak holiday seasons, yeah, you're going to run into some major crowds in this area, and that is one of the downfalls. Obviously, Polk County is one of the fastest growing counties. I'm not sure how it's going to rank this year, but it definitely ranked high in many, many years because you know, it's just the place to go between Tampa and Orlando because Polk County is a big county. So understand that obviously that plays into a part when it comes to living here and depending what activities you like to do as a family that can really play into your overall life so really take that with a grain of salt depending on what you do you're probably going to hit crowds and during peak holiday seasons you're probably going to want to go out less or prepare beforehand because it is going to be a little bit crazier just because well on top of all the tourists there also are a lot of people that are moving here and relocating here Hey, real quick, take a pause from the video. I just wanted to remind you that obviously if you're new to this channel, we talk about everything about moving and relocating to Orlando, Florida and the surrounding areas. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the button down below to be notified every time we drop a new video, which is every single Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Obviously, that the hour might change depending on how things go, but right now we drop it every Saturday guaranteed 10 a.m. Eastern. Also, don't forget, if you are looking for assistance when it comes to relocating to Orlando, this number down below is how you can get a hold of me and the team. Call, text, email, it does not matter. We are real estate professionals who specialize in relocation. I'm a veteran myself. I've relocated many of times. I'm here to help you work through that process of relocating because it's already stressful enough getting you and your family here. Why not have someone who has major experience in relocation help you walk through that process? Not just with your real estate decisions, but also helping you get in the right direction when it comes to relocating. So if that's you, reach out. It goes straight to me, and i love to have that conversation. Now, back to the video. Okay, the second pro that we're gonna go into is the fact that it tends to be more affordable than a lot of other cities around Orlando. So Davenport really has a lot of good options, especially when it comes to new construction, even resale homes. So depending what community, what specific part of Davenport, you tend to find some really good affordable options. Now, because it borders Haines City on the southern portion, some of those new, more affordable new constructions are definitely considered Haines City. So keep that in mind. Personally, there's not much too much difference. They kind of bleed into each other to a point, but even Davenport itself has a lot of good new construction options and affordability options compared to a lot of other cities around Orlando. And obviously the drive time can be a little bit bad, but overall I, I f tend to find some decent opportunities at a better price point here in Davenport, especially for what you get. So take that with a grain of salt, nothing's cheap anymore. But compared to a lot of other places, I, I think most clients that have reached out to me this year have brought up Davenport at some point. Why? Because of the location and the price options compared to what you're getting compared to a lot of other places. Now, I will tell you, also compared to that price option is like in the first pro we talked about location. So in uh, many years past, like maybe even like three years ago, the hospital in Davenport definitely got a lot of hate and it wasn't very good. Well, it, within two years ago, it was bought up by Advent Health, which is a big health provider here in Orlando. And I can tell you, my family has had to use the hospital twice this year, thankfully for nothing major, but we have had to kill for a couple occasions. And I'm generally actually very happy with the hospital. So for the price you're getting, and I honestly have been very impressed when it comes to a lot of the services, especially like the government supported services and the healthcare here. We've been very, I've been very happy with the support we've gotten. I think it's actually for the price is very competitive compared to a lot of areas around Orlando. A lot of fire stations, EMS is pretty heavy here. Like they, they just take very great care in what they do in the hospital. And honestly, a lot of people usually tend to hate hospitals. I've been very impressed with the level of care at this hospital, even when it was very crowded one of the times we had to go. Most people tend to be very happy with their work environment that I found, which is always plays into the care you get as a consumer. So I've been very happy with the price compared to what you get in Davenport. So that is one of the good things. Now, we're going to look at my list here. We're going to get into the, the next issue, which is a con, is that even though it's affordable and you're located to a lot of things, the traffic is crazy. I mean, I, I literally will call the 27 Death Highway. I mean, it, it, there are so many accidents on the 27 and the congestion, there's always congestion on the 27. Now there are certain periods or like on holiday days where the traffic might not be that heavy, but I can tell you when it comes to the traffic on the four and uh, just going places, it is insane. I, I like Florida drivers are already bad enough and you're multiplying them so heavy. Tourists are on this road. People traveling to the city to work is heavy, which brings up also a good point here. Depending what your job is, like I had one of our clients, they were like, oh yeah, we're looking at Davenport. Well, when we looked at where they're traveling for work, it did not make sense to live here because the traffic, especially that Disney corridor on the four gets so congested during peak hours. It, it can really make or break your experience. I don't know about you, but it might be more affordable, but sometimes you might be heading north to Claremont and it might seem farther away, but compared to how traffic is, depending where you're going and what direction and what time of days, 
it, it could actually be a better living experience. So we have to understand that Davenport is well located, but if you're having to take traffic and or you just can't handle that congestion, it may or may not be a break for you. And I'm really serious, like multiple times a day, some days heavier than others, but I hear sirens all the time for accidents on the 27. So understand that if that's not for you, maybe it doesn't make sense. But also keep in mind, you also it also is technically Davenport north of the I-4. So you potentially can live up there and maybe get a little bit less traffic than normal, but there's also a lot of construction going up there and eventually that probably will be the same issue. So if that's not something you can handle, it may not be a good thing for you when it comes to living in Davenport. All right, I brought this up already, but the third pro that I really find with Davenport is the cost of housing, but especially the new construction option. So if you're a lot of someone who's coming out here and because of how expensive things are, you're looking for a little bit of savings in your pocket when it comes to getting into a home, you know, sometimes rent can be cheaper than buying in some communities. I'll be the first to admit it, even obviously being you know an agent here in Orlando and with my team. But I will tell you when it comes to new construction, sometimes it actually can be a better deal. I mean, I'm seeing a lot of builders around Davenport offer you the ability to buy a rate down for up to three years, two to three years. And also some of them are even paying closing costs at the same time, which for you obviously in the short term is a big savings in your pocket, like tens of thousands of dollars are getting put in your pocket saving up front. Now it's not a perfect scenario, nothing's perfect. And it also, also depends on your specific financial situation, but Obviously, new construction options are heavy here. I did a recent tour on the channel when it comes to a new construction tour, and there's a lot of opportunities here. So you can always reach out to us and the team to really get that information, but that is one of the things I found amazingly here. It's like, if you're just looking to get some quick savings in your pocket and you know you wanna get into a home, some new construction options are something you should at least consider when it comes to living in Davenport. Even Orlando in general, if this ends up not being the city that you choose. Now, going to the final con, which obviously if you're a parent and you have kids, schools are gonna be a big concern for you. Now, this is going off of public testing data. I'm not just pulling this out of my butt and things like that. I will tell you a personal story though when it came to schools. Schools tend to rank lower in Davenport. Now, do I think they're getting better? The trend seems to be pushing that way. Yes, there are a lot of, there's a couple private options and charter schools around this area. Some are technically Haines City, but they, they border each other as we mentioned before. So one issue we found too when we were first moving here to get into schools is, and maybe you've seen this as well if you have kids, you try calling these schools and contacting them and you just don't get an answer. My opinion is it's not showing the bad thing about the schools, even though some schools, other clients have had success in other more like more expensive areas with getting contact back from the schools, is these schools are getting so flooded with the people that are moving here. I mean, I've heard that some class sizes in Horizon West, was, or not Horizon West, I'm sorry, but Horizon, the, the school you know in Davenport in the south side, bordering Haines City, the elementary school there, is they, they have like 30, 35 kids in a classroom, even for elementary school. Now, I'm sure that's not for every class. It depends on the age and what how the year is going. But I mean, that that's, man, that's so many kids, in my opinion, which is why we ended up choosing the homeschool ultimately when we came here. And now there's a lot of support. There's awesome programs that'll pay up to $8,000 for this local area for, you know, your child to be homeschooled, to have amenities and things and, and reform back. So there's a lot of cool things going on if you end up not going in the regular school system. But if you are, obviously there are private schools, things like that. You can choose other public schools. But understand that that's going to be one of the issues I think I find here in the local area is if you're looking to stay close, close, depending what age and what's going on with what your kid specifically needs, it may not make sense. So obviously, it's going to come down to you and your family. Um, you can always head down to our website down below. I try and put some links to just third party and government websites to give you more information about school searches around the Orlando area. So you can always check that out. But that's something you may find when it comes to living here in Orlando. But Whatever it comes down to your decision, maybe Davenport is or is not for you. Obviously, me and our team are here to help you when it comes to relocating to Orlando. So this number down below is how you can call, text, email. It does not matter what you do. We are here to help you when it comes to relocating. Sometimes Davenport may or may not make sense, but if you are tired of researching and you want someone who can just show you some of the links and some of the stories and personal opinions that I've gone through, well, hey, I'm here to happy to do that, especially when it comes to real decisions when it comes to relocating because it's already a complicated process. Let us help you make that easier. So I hope you got value in this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.